Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. I'm here at Parliament in Wellington, ahead of the Reserve Bank's Financial Stability Report on Thursday. But overnight, Silvio Berlusconi has said he will resign. This is after a meeting with the President of Italy, Giorgio Napolitano. There was relatively muted market reaction to the news that Berlusconi would resign. He says he'll go after a vote on the budget. He did actually win another vote on the budget last night, but only because of abstentions, and he was about to be kicked out after a confidence vote. But now that Berlusconi is gone, people are asking the question, how safe is Italy now, and what will it need to do to deal with its massive debt issue, which the whole of the European financial markets and the banking system are focused on. Remember, Italy's problem is that it has an enormous amount of government debt, about 120% of GDP and its economy is not growing. It's actually got a budget surplus, if you can believe that, but that's before it starts paying the interest on all that debt. And the problem for Italy is that the bond markets don't believe they can deal with their debt problem, so they're pushing up their interest rates. These are the so-called bond vigilantes. So everyone's watching the 10-year bond yield for Italy, which overnight rose to 6.74%. That doesn't sound like an awful lot, if you had a mortgage that was paying 6.74%, you'd feel reasonably happy. But for Italy, it's a real problem because with that 120% of GDP debt, it means that the government every year has to come up with 5% of GDP just to pay the interest on that debt. And also the spread between Italian bond yields and German bond yields is currently now almost at 5%. Now, when it got to that level, Portugal, Greece and Ireland had to ask for a bailout. The problem for Europe is that Italy is way too big to fail. And of course, much of the European banking system has lent money to Italy. Also overnight, there was no deal for a new Greek Prime Minister. A couple of days ago, there was talk of a national unity government, but still no Prime Minister. Overall, the New Zealand dollar is pretty flat at 79.7 US cents. Everyone now is focused on the European financial crisis. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.